This week on In the Field, how do you go about shooting something that has been shot to death? Hi everybody, welcome to In the Field. My name is Scott Davenport and today I'm talking about shooting the iconic subject, those things that have been shot by every photographer, it seems, on the planet. I mean, there are more and more and more photographers every day uh, with you know everything from the smartphone to you know the massive DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, what have you. Everyone seems to have a camera and that's great because we get lots of great photos from you know all over the world. Uh, it can be a challenge when you're trying to shoot uh, something that's very iconic, that has been shot, quote-unquote, to death. You know, no pun intended. And uh, you know, things like the Eiffel Tower, uh, the Grand Canyon, the uh, Sydney Harbor Bridge, or uh, in my case, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. I was recently in the San Francisco area, and that's where my mind immediately drifted, you know, looking for, well, you know, what, can I, what can I take pictures of while I'm there? You know, of course, the Golden Gate Bridge is a fantastic subject. You know, but it has been shot at every angle by every photographer um, you know, many, many, many times. You know, so my general rule is if I haven't shot it, it's not done. Like, I like to do it in, you know, for me, for my own way. So um, that's what I did on this shoot. Let me show you uh, where I ended up setting up and a uh, little footage from behind the scenes. All right, so this is the San Francisco Bay Area. And this right here is our Golden Gate Bridge. So we'll zoom right in here, get a good look at this guy. So there's lots of different vantages. Um, I've shot the bridge from over here, I've shot the bridge from over here, and this time around I headed out to Land's End. So a little farther away, let me zoom all the way in here. And there is a spot, let me see if I can find it, right here. This is Mile Rock Beach, and this spot here is uh, kind of called Eagle's Point. And when we start to rotate this around here 3D-wise, so imagine you're sitting up on this cliff face right here, and then as you zoom back out, you can see that here is where the bridge comes into play. So you're in this foreground area, and you've got the bridge in the distant background, and there's a, you know, a few different, different compositions here. So I shot some things up along the ridge. There's this really cool uh, maze. You're gonna see a little footage of that and then also headed down to this beach area. And I don't know if I'll be able to rotate this low enough. You can see where the bridge comes in. No, unfortunately not. Um, I'll have to zoom out just a little bit. A little bit more. And you can start to see the hint of there's the bridge in relationship to this spot on the beach. So let's just get into the footage from the shoot. You can see this, you know, real world. It is a half hour or so before sunrise on a very, very overcast and dark morning in San Francisco. And I'm standing on land's end. I'm going to put on my headlamp here so you can see a little bit of what I'm looking at. And this uh, stone like artwork structure thing, which is really, really kind of cool, uh, it's called Labyrinth. And it's hard to make out here on the video, but you can kind of tell it's like the Minotaur's maze from uh, you know olden times and it you know in the backdrop is the golden gate bridge i thought this would be a really cool place to take some pictures and that's exactly what i'm doing i'm going to get back to it and uh when it gets a little brighter i'll grab a little more uh, video here so you can get a better feel for what this place is like all right the sun's come up enough now you can get a better feel for what we're looking at here We've got the labyrinth in front of us Golden Gate in the background, and actually yeah, getting a little texture and color in the sky, which is a nice surprise, because the forecast was for completely cloudy skies, so this is just a nice treat. So yeah, I'm going to take a few more exposures, have a little more fun, and then actually behind me, zoom around here, there is also, this is still a little darker, but a really nice section of, uh, you know, craggy, rocky beach. I've even taken a few shots of that while the uh, light was very low, so that'll be fun to do, too. I climbed down a bit of the cliff for a couple more shots of the bridge and this little patch of beach in the foreground. And, uh, yeah, the, the it looks like the sky is not going to get any more color than it has. Sunrise is just a, a minute or so away. And uh, I will say that climbing back up this guy um, is going to be uh, a little more challenging than coming down. So, you know, why go and take photos of the Golden Gate Bridge if it's been shot by so many, so many people. Like I said in the intro, 
I had not shot the bridge from this angle before. I have plenty of pictures of the bridge from you know, different visits there over the years, from different angles and different vantages. I'd never done it from this area in the Land's End. I'd never gone down to you know, sea level to shoot the bridge. And uh, that, was, that was fun. That was fun for me. It's something new for me. And I think that's kind of the, you know, the, the big takeaway here is if you haven't shot the iconic subject, well, go and do it. Of course, you know, you're, you're there. You've gone there to see it. Make the picture. Uh, but then also think about other compositions that you might try. And uh, you know, really the tip here is, uh, in this case, the bridge is not the focal point of the photo. It's obvious that it's the Golden Gate Bridge. We've seen that bridge so many times, our brains recognize it. But it's in the background. It provides context for the scene, but it's not the subject itself. So that's really the tip. And you're shooting something that's iconic. You know, sh certainly, take the, take the classic photo, because you'll want that for your own memories. And then you know, try to look at it from a, from a different perspective, um, either downplaying it or ex you know, zooming extremely close and taking just a portion of the subject you know, and just seeing it in a different way. That's it for this week in the field. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you can tell a friend, uh, share this on social media to your circles and your uh, followers, that would be great. Uh, I've been really enjoying getting your comments on the videos and uh, through my blog. Those things mean so much. I, I can't even tell you how much. It just That's the encouragement that keeps me coming back week after week you know, to share this, uh, these footage and these tips with you. And uh, if there are things that uh, you'd like to see more of in the actual footage while I'm on scene, let me know about that. Uh, there's, I'm certain there's things that I'm just not thinking to share with you, not because they're not important, but uh, you know I'm thinking about something else, or I'm you know concentrating on getting the photo itself. But let me know uh, if there are things that I'm not sharing you'd like to hear more about. That would be great. So until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting. Thank you.